in medical terms we define cyst as a epithelium lined closed cavity which contains fluid so that means an epithelial lined closed cavity which contains fluid if it develops in the kidney then it is called kidney cyst kidney cyst can be classified into many types so we can classify it based on the complexity as simple cyst or a complex cyst or we can classify cyst based on the amount of complexity by means of imaging which includes ct or mri by a well known concept of bosnia classification in which cysts are classified into type 1 2 2f 3 and 4 apart from that based on the location we can classify cyst as cortical cyst medullary cyst or renal sinus cysts which can be either peripelvic or parapelvic apart from that based on the origin of the cyst we can say that cyst can be either sporadic it can be either genetic or it can be acquired so as i said based on the location of the cyst in a kidney we can classify it as either cortical or medullary or cyst in the sinus so cortical cysts are the most common type of renal cysts which are present in the outer part of the kidney so most of these cysts are simple cysts that means they just contain clear fluid so mostly kidney cyst doesn't evolve into stages but uh, what i would say is yes there are some cysts in which there can be certain changes over a period of time so the usual changes are first of all is the growth in the cyst size secondly the content of the cyst may become little different over a period of time so initially it may be non enhancing but over a period of time it can become enhancing so an enhancing component in a cyst always suggests that there could be an underlying malignancy or cancer so therefore there is a good system of classification of renal cysts i should not say that these are uh, this is classification to show the evolution of the renal cyst but to show the type of renal cysts it is which is called the bosnia classification usually it is a ct or mri based classification but definitely we can say that a simple cyst over a period of time has a very less tendency to evolve into a complex cyst but a complex cyst may be a type 2 or a type 2f or a type 3 cyst may over a period of time become a type 4 cyst there are many types of kidney cyst so usually the sporadic kidney cysts are incidental findings on imaging and there are some putative causes like it can be age related it can be related to hypertension male gender or smoking apart from that there are some genetic causes also like there are some condition commonly what i can say is the adpkd means autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease in which there are multiple cyst development in both the kidneys starting from a young age apart from this there is something called acquired cystic kidney disease ackd which happens usually in end stage kidney disease patients who are on dialysis in them cyst formation and progression happens very rapidly in the kidneys most of the patients have very small multiple or single kidney cysts which usually do not cause any symptoms these are simple cysts and they hardly need any other follow up it is said that about 1% of these cysts may eventually grow in size or may even turn into a complex cyst but that evidence quality is very poor usually complex cysts they can cause some pain discomfort by growth in their size and they can also cause local pressure symptoms even a simple cyst as a matter of fact it is seen that about in 2 to 4% of cases can grow in size over a period of years and can cause local pressure symptoms moreover a cyst can get ruptured and can cause pain apart from that the content of the cyst may occasionally get infected and it can also cause uh, hematuria by rupturing into the collecting system of the urine so usually kidney cysts do not cause any trouble especially the simple cysts they don't cause any problem 
बट हाउ एवर इन टू टू फोर परसेंट ऑफ केसेज दे कैन ग्रो इन साइज ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ इयर्स एंड कैन कॉज लोकल प्रेशर सिम्टम्स तो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लेक्स रीनल सिस्ट इज इट्स एवोल्यूशन इन टू ए मेलेग्नेसी और ए वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स सिस्ट विच इज कॉल्ड द बॉस्निया फोर सिस्ट विच हैज अबाउट नाइनटी टू नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट चांस ऑफ हैविंग ए मेलेग्नेसी इन साइड इट so this cyst can grow and can cause infection as well and it can also get ruptured or it can also rupture into the collecting system causing bleeding in the urine or hematuria the most concerning complication of a kidney cyst is its indolent malignant potential or it may over a period of time develop into a more malignant potential cyst so kidney cysts are usually diagnosed on incidental ultrasound image of the abdomen so in an ultrasound uh, we can see a very clear fluid filled cyst on the outer surface of the kidney which is called which is commonly called the cortical cyst and usually these are about 1 to 4 cm in size and they do not cause any trouble nor they have to be followed up in the future but for further delineation of a cyst especially when it has matter if the cyst is a complex cyst or if it has some wall thickening or if it is large in size or if there is any other suspicion on ultrasound then it is best to characterize the cyst by means of a cross sectional imaging which is through either a contrast enhanced ct scan or an mri of the abdomen in which we can correctly classify the cyst based on its malignant potential by the famous bosnia classification so the treatment of kidney cysts depends on many factors the most important factor is the type of kidney cyst so if it's a simple kidney cyst or a simple cyst or a renal cortical cyst it doesn't need any follow up or treatment at all in most cases but if it is a very large symptomatic simple cyst then it might need treatment in the form of decortication or sclerotherapy apart from that if the cyst is complex then we need to again reclassify based on ct and mri images and the treatment varies on the type of complex cyst so usually if the chances of malignancies are high and if the patient is young and fit and can undergo a surgery the best form of treatment is to remove the cyst by surgery either partial or a radical nephrectomy is done based on the cyst characteristics and based on the infiltration into the kidney and the other features Uh, there is no specific dietary recommendation for kidney cyst patients but what i can say is that uh, based on the extrapolation from the prevent trial which is a recently published trial in adpkd population they have seen that uh, it doesn't matter based on uh, whether we take a restricted water intake or a liberal water intake it doesn't matter about the progression of the cystic renal disease so there is no specific water recommendation as such but i would say because hypertension is closely linked as uh, either the cause or an effect of uh, kidney cysts though the evidence is not so great but i would suggest that maybe salt restricted diet would be better in terms of the fact that it will control the blood pressure and in a sense that is good for general health as well and probably may have an effect in the uh, preventing or maybe uh, decreasing the progression of the kidney cysts but of course this is just an extrapolation of the findings and there is no direct evidence to prove the same They usually kidney cysts are small in size and about 1 to 4 cm in diameter so based on a um, systematic review in uh, urologia international in uh, 2019 by nalagatla it was seen that uh, about 6 to 8 cm sized renal cyst simple renal cyst can cause pressure symptoms and usually in that study they have seen that the average size of symptomatic simple renal cyst was actually 14 cm so i would say anything between 8 to 14 would be a size which can cause problem in terms of pressure symptoms only not in terms of malignant potential and also to clarify that size of the cyst does not matter if the cyst is it is a complex cyst so if it's a complex cyst and there is a definite sign of malignancy then the size doesn't matter so even if it is small then surgical excision is recommended kidney cysts are an usually an age related phenomenon so they do not go by themselves and moreover it is said that as age progresses the number of kidney cysts increases 
and also the prevalence of kidney cysts also increase. So it doesn't decrease, rather it increases with age. Kidney cysts are very common. It is said that about 10% of the population, if they undergo imaging, will definitely have either one or multiple kidney cysts. And this prevalence increases with age. It is said that by the age of around 40, about 20% will have kidney cysts. And by the age of 60, around 30 to 40% of them will have kidney cysts. Most of the kidney cysts are very simple. That means they have only clear fluid as their content and they have thin walls and no other echoes inside or no other solid component inside. So these simple cysts uh, may be even left alone and no follow up is mostly necessary for them. So these are not they considered to be dangerous. But those cysts which are having some echoes inside suggesting that they have some solid component inside, they can be dangerous and they can have an indolent malignancy in them. Yes, a complex kidney cyst can be cancerous. It is said that based on cancer potential of a kidney cyst, we classify them based on the CT scan into four types. So, usually Bosniak type 2 cyst has about 3 to 10 percent chance of having a malignancy or cancer. Bosniak 3 cyst will have about 50 percent chance and Bosniak 4 which is the last group will have a chance of about 90 percent chance of developing a cancer inside the cyst. Kidney cysts usually do not cause any symptom or may cause pressure symptoms or uh, local symptoms like pain or discomfort. Sometimes a kidney cyst can get infected or can communicate with the urine passage that is the collecting system of the kidney and it can cause bleeding in urine. So either infection or rupture into the kidney collecting system can cause bleeding in the urine. I would say that kidney cyst can get infected which is called an infected renal cyst but per se it does not have a tendency to cause urinary tract infections. Usually the simple renal cysts or even the complex cysts, they do not communicate with the urinary passage. So, the chance, the theoretical chance of developing stone in them is not there. However, in a certain group of patients, that is the ADPKD patients, we have seen that there is chance, there is higher than normal chance of developing kidney stones. So, pertaining to ADPKD, we can say that maybe the chances of getting kidney stones is higher. But in general, in a patient who has multiple renal cysts or a single renal cyst or a simple cortical cyst, the chances of kidney stone may not be high. It may be the same as that of the general population. I would not say that it does not cause, but definitely directly does not cause. So, with diabetes, obviously, slowly over time, the kidneys get damaged and it is a very important reason for chronic kidney disease. And with chronic kidney disease, the chances of developing or requiring dialysis is high. And with chronic kidney disease and dialysis dependence, the chances of acquired cystic renal disease, ACKD, is high. So, in that way, in that sense, indirectly, diabetes can lead to formation of kidney cysts.